In this video, I'm going to show you how to substitute real photos for icons. Some kids work better with real photos for objects. Sometimes they just don't know how to relate the symbols um, to actual objects. So you can take pictures with your tablet of any objects that you might want, like toys or any anything that your kid uh, really likes, food, toys, whatever. Once the photos are saved onto your tablet or to your iPad, you will be able to access them and put them in for in, in place of the symbols. It's pretty simple. I'm going to show you. We're going to go over to the edit button, which is in the top right corner. It looks like a little settings wheel with a pencil going across it. It's pretty simple to find. But first I'm going to take you to the page that I want to edit. So I'm going to go down to my toys because I'm going to do a toy. Today we're going to do the ring stacker. I already have a photo of a ring stacker. Ring stacker. IPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the edit button and then select the ring stacker. So I already have the picture of my ring stacker, as I said before, in my iPad. So I'm going to select the ring stacker picture that you see. Then I'm going to hit the camera icon and hit from photo library. Now, if you don't already have a picture, you can hit camera, but I do. So we're gonna go down to find the picture that I took of my ring stacker. There it is. And I touched it and it went right over to that photo section. And then I'm gonna hit done. And then everything else stays the same because it's the same label, same message. And then up top, I'm going to hit done again. I'm going to hit core words to bring me back to that page. Start my sentence. I want. And then I'll go find the ring stacker in my toy section. Ring stacker. And then hit the speak button. I want ring stacker. I'm going to go ahead and do another one for you just so that you can see it one more time. I already have a picture of baby cereal in my iPad, so I'm gonna go and switch out the, uh, actually I'm gonna make a new button. Uh, so I can show you how to make a new button in on a page and then uh, put the real picture in again. So baby cereal would be in my food page. I'm gonna go on the food page here and then go down and I'm gonna make a new button so that you can see that. I'm gonna hit edit again. And that again is in the top right corner like before. And so you can see the gray, uh, the gray with the, the cross or plus sign for adding. You're going to hit one of those. And then you're going to start typing your label. So I'm just going to put baby cereal. And then the message is going to be the same. And the message is actually what the voice says. And so again, I already have a picture that I know I want to use. So I'm going to hit the baby picture and then I'm going to go over to the camera icon and hit photo library and then pick the serial picture that I want. So I'll pick that one and then hit done and then everything is all set. So I'm going to hit done again. Baby serial. I'm going to erase this sentence and start from the beginning. I want more. And I'm going to go over to the food page and go down. Baby cereal. I want more baby cereal. And I'm actually going to show you how to move the baby cereal over, um, up and over next to <clears throat> the yogurt symbol, uh, just so that you can keep it in that row. So you're going to hit baby cereal and drag it over, and it's going to replace the related list, and then you'll have it right next to the yogurt. That's just to keep it side by side and in order for you. If you wanted an alphabetical order, you'd have to um, swap it out with one above in the B section of the foods. That's it for this video. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought of the video and write any questions that you might have for me. All right, take care, guys. Thanks.